Bonjour, je vais vous demander d'imaginer une Angela Davis qui aurait 20 ans aujourd'hui. Quelles seraient les luttes pour lesquelles elle, elle se battrait First of all, I don't think that uh, the struggles in which I would be involved at age 20 are any different from the struggles I'm involved in today. Uh, so I could uh, again talk about freedom for uh, political prisoners, uh, Leonard Peltier, Mumia um, Abu-Jamal, Palestinian political prisoners. Uh, I would be uh, involved in the anti-war movement. I would be uh, attempting to pressure Obama to um, uh, end the war in Afghanistan, close down Guantanamo. I would be <laughs> supporting um, the labor movement. A lot has changed. A lot has changed, but many of the political struggles uh, that uh, uh, were um, on the agenda in the 70s continue today. And I'm talking about contemporary struggles. I thought you asked me what kinds of struggles I would be involved in if I were young today. And I'm saying I would be involved in the same struggles if I were young as I am at this age. Yes, there are some uh, things that have changed, of course. Uh, um, um, legalized segregation has been abolished. Um, of course, we have a black president today, and that would not have been uh, conceivable in the 1960s, uh, even 1970s. Um, at the same time, there are uh, things that are far worse today. Uh, the prison situation is uh, uh, much worse than it was uh, 40 years ago. There are uh, 2.5 million people behind bars, and that would have been as inconceivable as the election of, of uh, Obama to the presidency. Yes, and I was involved in Occupy Wall Street at this age. I mean, the point that oh, yeah. I'm making is that I don't think age makes a difference in terms of commitment to political struggles. Uh, that's a complicated question um, because it may very well be the case that um, there is more space to express one's opinion and I think that as a result of the Occupy Wall Street movement uh, there's much uh, more, there are much more critical um, engagements with capitalism. Um, however, the um, character of political discourse itself has narrowed. Uh, the ideologies are, are far more powerful. Uh, you know, for example, um, Everyone in the U.S. now talks about the middle class. Uh, and <laughs> Obama never refers to the working class or to poor people. So that has completely dropped out. Uh, and I think uh, uh, the challenge now is to broaden the possibilities uh, within public uh, 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 discourse. Uh, and that is going to mean a lot of political education, a lot of ideological struggle. Exact, exactly. Especially because um, the union, the trade union movement, the labor movement has been consistently under assault, under conditions of global capitalism. There are fewer workers organized into unions today than there were in the 1930s when the whole struggle for um, industrial unions took place. Uh, 
And of course, with deindustrialization and the, 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 the fact that so many jobs have moved into the countries of the global south where uh, the uh, labor is cheaper and where there is not as much uh, uh, organizing among um, workers, it seems that we have to really internationalize, globalize uh, the, the, the labor movement, and that's a real challenge today.